So we used all of the birth certificates and all the fetal death certificates for the state of Michigan for several years before the water change and then a couple of years after. And we compared Flint before and after um, to the rest of the cities in Michigan um, and found that birth rates went down by about 12% and fetal death rates went up by 58%. Um, represents uh, a couple hundred fewer children born than otherwise would have been born. So there's medical literature that lead interferes um, with pregnancy, first of all. Secondly, um, we looked at Google Trends data to see when people in Flint started Googling lead um, compared to the surrounding parts of um, Michigan and the United States and found that that didn't really increase toward until the end of our period when the first research started coming out. That during most of our time period when the city officials were saying there was no problem, um, we didn't see ev any evidence of knowledge about lead in the water. Having children in America is expensive and resource intensive um, and we want people to have the number of children they want when they want to have them. Right? That we as Americans are very much about individual Americans getting to make the choices that are the best for their family and this is a, one of the most fundamental ones. And the idea that hundreds of families wanted to have a child during this time period um, and couldn't is really very, very sad.